My name's Alex White. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Neuroscience and Behavior at Barnard. And there I direct the Barnard Vision Lab, where much of our research is focused on how the brain recognizes written words. So consider a key difference between comprehending spoken language and comprehending written language. As you listen to me speak right now, each word is delivered one at a time, each syllable one at a time. But you can read this. As you read this passage, all the words and their component letters are presented all at once. A major question for us is, how much information can you process from written text at each glance? You clearly couldn't comprehend both of those sentences all at once. And I think that's an important question because we need to know how even skilled readers deal with the capacity limits they have for processing text. That determines how they move their attention and their eyes as they're trying to funnel all these little black shapes through their eyes, through the visual parts of the brain, into the language parts of the brain. So in some studies, we recruit volunteers who read and we record their eye movements with a high resolution eye tracker. Another basic question we're investigating is, is it even possible to recognize just two words simultaneously? So I'll let you try it. Fixate your gaze on the little plus at the center of that rectangle, and next I'm gonna flash two random words, one on the left and one on the right, and keep your eyes still and try to recognize both of them. It may have been difficult. Uh, in fact, it's almost impossible, I have argued, to recognize two words simultaneously. If you're given the chance to focus your attention on just one of those words, you can do it quite well. But as soon as we ask people to divide their attention and recognize both, it seems like they can't. They can get one of them, but they have no idea what the other one was, suggesting that there's a really profound limit on how much your brain can do at one moment in time. Um, we are recently finding some cases for at least some people can recognize multiple words in parallel, and we're interested in understanding those individual differences and how they relate to reading ability. We also do functional magnetic resonance imaging studies where we put people in an MRI scanner while they read. And we're particularly interested in this one little bit of brain called the visual word form area in the left ventral temporal cortex that becomes specialized for reading as a child learns to read. And our questions are, what exactly is this area doing? How does its activity depend on the observer's state of attention, what the person is trying to do as they are looking at words? How does it communicate with other parts of the brain? And how does its function develop? And how does it differ between skilled and struggling readers? Now, I don't have any collaborations with Teachers College yet. I'm still somewhat new here, but I would love to. Um, perhaps uh, my skills in vision and eye tracking and brain imaging could be useful to ongoing projects at TC. Perhaps um, we could work together to extend this line of work uh, to understand development of the reading ability or individual differences, especially in those who have dyslexia or other disorders like that. Next. <laughs> <laughs>